Hello, magical kindreds. I'm Kim. Welcome to my channel, The Ways of a Witch. Come with me today as I begin a new book of shadows. I'll be giving you tips on how you can start yours. For me, a book of shadows is a very personal book of magic. These are two books I've been keeping over the past few years. For these books, I've tried to treat them like they're part witchy art journal, part scrapbook, with bits I've copied from books or pages that came with witchy subscription boxes. But I started to get bored with them because they just didn't reflect my everyday experiences of walking the path into the wild unseen. I am starting this new book because I want it to be an experiential record of my magical ways. As with all magical tools, I've found it useful to pass them through some clearing herbs like juniper and cedar before I begin. The first page is a protection spell that is activated upon opening the book. I've enchanted it by creating an invocation and protection sigil that I inscribed on the page with invisible ink. I love using invisible ink. You can make it or buy it. I can't vouch for how long it'll last, but I love infusing secret energies into my Book of Shadows. Next, I painted on the Triquatra a powerful protection symbol. For some of the art in my book, I make it easy on myself by creating printed graphics in a program like Canva. And then I use graphite paper to transfer them into the book. Then it's just a matter of coloring them in with whatever media I want. One tip I would suggest is to pick a simple color palette and stick with it. The color palette I've chosen for my Book of Shadows is black and white for most graphics, red and blue for most embellishments, and gold for mistakes. You'll see how I use the full palette in future videos. And finally, I misted the finished page with a custom Book of Shadows spray while speaking the enchantment into the spine of the book.
This next page is the title page and includes my secret magical name written in invisible ink. The process for creating this page is the same. I create a design in Canva, then copy the design onto the page and paint. Sometimes I have to make changes on the fly. For example, on this page, the tree wasn't quite what I wanted and it wasn't quite the size I wanted. So I just improvised, I cut it and extended it. I changed the owl out for a raven and then I decided to add a moon behind the tree and the raven. So why a secret magical name? I used to think having a magical name was not for me, but I began to change my mind about that sometime last year. Naming is some of the oldest magic, and discovering your magical name is part of awakening to our identity as witches.
The last page I'm creating in this video is the section title page. I'm ordering my book of shadows by moon and season, and since I'm beginning this new book now, I'll start with the September moon. As I said, I want this book to be very personal and specific to exactly the rituals and spells I'm working with during each moon. My intention is to share how I fill my book of shadows at least once every moon, so I hope you'll join me on this journey. received this triquatra pendant in a witch's moon subscription box a couple of years ago so i decided to attach it to the book wrap as a charm of protection And that's how I started this new Book of Shadows. See you next time. Bye.